the half year old hero and mom here. We're so excited to have you in our kitchen for another wonderful week of recipes. This week we found a delicious butternut squash soup recipe. But before we begin, a few quick rules of our kitchen. One, keep the sharks away from the littles. Two, it's like the mask is Okay, that was the ingredients. So before we begin, any bout in our kitchen, we always wash our hands. Go ahead, you wash our hands and wash our veggies. Good boy, get all those fingers. Good job. All right, go ahead, put wash our onion. On you put soap on it. Okay, we'll wash it good. All right, rub it in. Okay, now we have the ingredients and we have our veggies washed. Let's go to it with our first ingredient that we are going to prepare. Yes, what is it? Onion! Oh, I almost forgot one purchase that I wanted to share with you guys before we began. I've been waiting for this waiting, waiting, waiting until Hero is the right age and he finally is just about there. So last week I went ahead and I got toddler proof knives. Ah, that sounds incredibly scary, right? But check this out. They are actually cut proof. Hero has been loving them so far. We're about to use it to dig into the onion, but definitely if you're letting your toddlers use these, still be sure to exercise parental supervision. All right, here, are you ready? Let's do this. Mm. All right, and one thing to remind the kiddos of is just to always watch out for where their fingers are because it starts, yep, you're sawing. It starts good practices. I told Hero that he's gonna be cutting the onion in a sawing motion. One thing to also remind the kids about when making onions is to kind of keep their hands away from their eyes, right? Because we don't want any crying kiddos, right? Okay, we're going to start by spraying our pan as Hero already did. Make sure it's pointing away from you. Okay, spray that pan good. Yep, can you put it all on that on that pan? Dumpsies. Okay, now we're gonna paint it with oil. Five more. Five. Yay! Now we are going to marinate the squash with oil. So just paint it like you're painting a picture. Good. Eat. Get. Go ahead and get each piece of butternut squash. A regular Picasso. Okay, so while Hero plays in a safe location, I'm gonna go ahead and put the butternut squash that has been marinated in olive oil by our lovely sous chef in the preheated oven. Oh, better close it. 400 degrees for, uh, let's say, 35 to 40 minutes. And I'm gonna get to sauteing the onions. Let's do it. Okay, so I just put three teaspoons of olive oil in our pan we're going to turn it to about a medium heat because we don't want to cook olive oil too hot because it has a smoke point of about 410 ish degrees so once you heat an oil past that temperature it may not be fit for consumption anymore so while it's heating up i wanted to tell you i also just went through and put in just a little bit of salt and pepper on our butternut squash so here we go let's go ahead we're gonna put hero's onions in here and cook them for until they're about translucent mm, let's say five or so minutes okay, so it's been just about a few minutes our onions are translucent so we're gonna turn the burner off and set this aside until our butternut squash is ready. Okay, so Hero just got started by putting our one tablespoon of maple syrup in. We don't want to double do it, so sorry we didn't catch that on film. But let's go ahead. We'll go with a quarter 
teaspoon of nutmeg. So about half of that full. Dip. All right, go ahead, dump it in. Good job. Now we're gonna go ahead with a teaspoon of, what is that, Hero? Cinnamon, you wanna use this one? Cause we need a little bit more. And this is just something that we can do while <laughs> our squash is cooking, okay? And lastly, we have our vegetable stock, about two cups we're gonna put in here. So we already put our onions in too. Let's go ahead, pour it in. Oh, good job. How's it looking, Hero? Good, all right, let's pour the rest of it in. All right, beautiful. Now we are just gonna fill the rest of that up with our sweet potatoes. Okay, so about 40 minutes have passed, so we are ready to add our butternut squash to the mixture that Hero just made. Let's do it. Let's add it all in and mix it up. All right, and by sweet potatoes, I mean butternut squash. We have a very orange theme going today. So do you want to dump it in there, or maybe it might be better to go by the handful? Do you want to take handfuls in? All right. Get it all in there, beautiful. Yeah, let's push it down and squeeze. Hi. Yeah, you did it! Is it ready? Yeah. All right, let's take it out. All right, that just about wraps up our butternut squash soup. Oh, thank you. Mmm, it came out really good. Sorry about our messy kitchen, but mmm. Super easy recipe could be done relatively quickly just while you're hanging out on a rainy afternoon like we are doing today. So if you enjoyed the recipe, go ahead, please press the subscribe button below and definitely check back for more videos coming. Mmm in the future when well, I you put your turn but before we eat one thing that we like to say what do we say before we eat one two three eat the ducky mas all right see you guys next time press subscribe below bye dun, 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 dun.